Hi everyone, this is Cindy again, and I have a quick project I'm working on. Um, my parents and my sister and I are going on a um, short little vacation next week, and uh, we decided well, there's several things we're going to do. Uh, like we're going to ride an excursion train and eat lunch on that. We're going to take a, a tram tour of the city. The city is Eureka Springs, Arkansas. If you've never been there, it's a pretty neat city. It's built in the mountains, so there's no straight lines and there's no flat places. So it's got a lot of neat things. So anyway, we're going to do that. So I was the one in charge of activities. What are we going to do when we're there? So I've been researching and printing out things and getting addresses and times and dates like that. So I thought, you know, I need something to pull this all together in. And of course, you think of a traveler's notebook. So, uh, that is true. That's what I'm thinking of. But, in the past, my experience with a traveler's notebook is they're not big enough. They're too skinny. I don't like that. So, um, I'm making one just a regular notebook size. And I'm not sure what this measures, but we can find out. Six, probably by nine. Yes. And Robin, you might recognize this fabric. And I may have shown this before. I can't remember because I remember maybe talking about this little pocket on the side because the um, she sent me this, um, I'm just going to call it fabric, which is like pieces of fabric sewn together, selvages and things. And it was a little too wide, so I just turned over what was um, the extra and made a little pocket here. So I love that. My quandary is, do I want this to be the front or this to be the front? I really like this, but I like the pocket being in the back, so I guess we'll go with the pinks. But doesn't mean that's my color scheme. My color scheme is all of this. So I went pulling papers from my um, stash, and I wasn't sure about some. So like I pulled this one because it's nice and bright, but I really don't have any reds in this. Um, it's not going to show anyway. Any reds in this. So there's that one. I didn't mean to get the polka dotted one, but it is kind of cute. Uh, it wouldn't be bad. I like the yellow one because... Do I have yellow? I have yellow. Yeah. And then I also had the one with just odds and ends and bits and pieces. So that would work well too. So I might use that one because it kind of reflects what's going on on the cover. So let's go ahead and include that. So anyway... I pulled together a few other pages. I wanted some scrapbook paper to kind of give it some stability, but I also found, um, let's see what I find. This sheet, which is like a divider page, but it was yellow, so I liked it. So it's a little stiffer. And then I found uh, the, this, which I've had in my stash forever. Uh, it's like stationary paper that goes through your printer, or like a green card that goes through your printer. So it, and it's nice uh, thickness, you can probably hear it. So um, I think, I don't want it to start here, but I'm thinking I want it closer to the front just to give it some stability. I don't know if it matters if it's at the front or the back for stability, but um, yeah, I think that's great. So anyway, I thought I would bring you along as I put the signature together because I worked out what I need kind of. Um, and this, I'm sure you'll not be able to read my uh, scribbles, but maybe I can figure it out. Um, like I want the inside cover, which is here. Let's just put it like this. Uh, so i put that over a little bit. Inside cover, I may or may not put a pocket. I've already, um, making sure my frame. I've already um, sewn this, so it could not be sewn in. It had to be glued in, so that's okay. It gives me time to think about it. Um, so anyway, on this one, I thought I would put, you know, Eureka Springs, Arkansas, and the date. So I don't have that printed up or anything yet. So that's going to go here. And then on the inside, this is going to be like, I've got maps printed out. I wonder if I can find it with real quick. When I say printed out, I mean I went to, took my atlas to the copy machine and said I need northern Arkansas and I need northern, Tul uh, not Tulsa, uh, Oklahoma. So I'm going to put like Oklahoma here and Arkansas here and kind of match them up. So I'm going to put that there. And then down here, I'm going to put the hotel information, address, phone number, confirmation number. And then, see, I wanted to do this Midori style because I thought I can take like these confirmation things like here's the one about the tram and I could slip it in like that you know inside the journal but um, if I do that then I've got 
tram stuff on this side of my signature and tram stuff on this side of my signature, which is not what I want. So, uh, yeah. So just thinking through all this. So here's what I kind of thought I would do. I told you about the maps and the hotel. And then the next one would be, okay, the first day we're just going to be driving, right? And there's a couple of scenic stops on the way. So I'm going to put that information here. And I've got things like, I kind of, I know I left the idea behind about the, the Midori thing, but I'll get to it in a second. Um, well, one of them is going to be like Christ of the Ozarks. It's a big statue up in the mountains. Oh, and this other one's this chapel. Nothing, you know, like, oh, I can't wait till I get there type thing. But it's just something to see on the way. And it's a really neat chapel. And then there's a lookout point. That's supposed to be really cool. So stuff like that. I'll put those drive-by. I'm calling them drive-by things. Drive-by things here. And then... Uh, see, originally I had, this is a page, this is a page, this is a page, this is a page. But then I decided I'm putting extra pages in the middle. So, like, these might be the drive-by things. But on these pages, I'm going to leave room just blank for, like, the, like, maybe a pocket to fold up the confirmation for the tram, that sort of thing. Am I making any sense? So, uh... And I'm not sure how many pages I'm going to need for the drive-by things. So I need to figure that out. Because then once I do that, and once I put pockets for uh, confirmations, and maybe there will even be some brochures in the hotel that I might want to uh, get, um, I can put in a pocket or tuck. I probably It would be a tuck. I don't want it to be a pocket, I think. So that way it can be bigger. And I probably will go against what I normally do. I don't have one with me, do I? We'll just pretend like this is my tuck. Normally, I put them here so that when you tuck, it's to the inside of the journal. But on this time, I think I'm going to make my tucks here so things can stick out if they're too big. Does that make sense? Hopefully. Okay, and then, um, yeah, so I'm trying to figure out. Is this going to be my information on the tram? These are the shops we found we want to visit. A couple extra pages with a pocket maybe. The train, the excursion train, any other thing for that day. Uh, kind of heartbroken. On Saturday when we leave, we're going to go buy a saw. Uh, I call it a sawmill. It's not a sawmill. A grist mill with the water wheel. And they grind the wheat. And they have three floors. One's a restaurant. One's the mill. And then one's uh, like a gift shop. Uh, but they're closed for two weeks during the summer. So anyway, we got to figure out what we're going to do that final day. So, I don't want to cram it all in the front of the signature and have nothing in the back. So, how many pages? I'm thinking one, two, th one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So, I might as well do ten. Well, I think I've got more than that already pulled out. So, let's see. Let's do one. And I said this would be maps. So, I don't want this on the map page. Um, Maps and hotel, places to drive by, maybe some extra places to drive by. And I'll do this one since it's an extra page. And then uh, maybe this. Nope, I want bigger pages for, uh, like the next would be the tram and shopping. And then we can do... Uh, like this one that's got an edge to it. It doesn't, just doesn't have as much space to write on. So let me just put that there. Even though I've got two colors the same. Uh, let me swap out this one. And you know what? I probably am not going to sell these signatures in until I lay out all these things. Because what I'm going to do is like on the, the excursion train here. I'm going to cut this out and glue it on the paper. Because it shows what it is. And then, um, you know, here's the, tran the tram thing. So that one I might just fold. I could have a flip out. No, I'd have to be this way. <laughs> I might could do that with some of the larger things. So that's a good idea. So anyway, I'm not going to sew this in until I get things glued out. So who knows what it's going to look like before I get it sewn in. But uh, I don't even know where I was at. Uh, uh, see? Uh, anyway. <laughs> You kind of get where I'm going. I'm not going to uh, drive you guys crazy with any more of my hum, hum, hauling around. I'm going to um, 
count pages, which I know I have too many, and I'm going to start cutting things out and gluing them down, or at least paper clipping them in, and then getting an idea. And I will show you what's next. Maybe the pages, I don't know, maybe the finished product. I'm not sure. So anyway, thanks for listening to me as I'm kind of thinking through this process, and I'll see you guys in a minute, or later, whenever.